In this episode, we're going to have a look at the map box visual. It's a great alternative if you're finding that the filled map isn't doing what you want it to do. The filled map tends to work great with the USA, but not so much with the UK. What I would like to do is I would like to take a shape file and I want to use that to map out the different counties in the UK. So that's what we're going to have a look at. To do this, the first thing you're going to need to do is go to the Mapbox website and sign up. The accounts are free and the free tier level is very generous, allowing you to do lots of refreshes and connections every month. But if you do use it a lot, it is worth considering and very reasonable for the price. Once you've signed up, you'll be taken in here where you could get your access token. But what I would like to do is create my own map. So what I'm going to do is up the top, I'm going to go to my So what I'm going to do is go over to the right hand side and click on design in Mapbox Studio. This is taking me on to styles. I want, want the styles. I want the tile sets. And from here I can import a bunch of tile sets. So I'm going to go to the local planning website. And on there, I can find a whole bunch of different shape files. If you've already got your own, fantastic. I don't, so I'm going to steal this one. Click on this little icon here to download whichever file you like. The CSV, you're going to use that to pair it up within Power BI. So I need the ID numbers that each of these are assigned. And it also holds some general information about these counties. The one that you absolutely have to have though is the shape file. So download that and then what we're going to do is switch to our Mapbox visual website and simply drag the files that we've downloaded in. So I downloaded one about the local planning authorities and I also downloaded one about the regions in the UK. Once those two are uploaded, we're going to switch back to Power BI and we're going to pull this information in. Here I have a workbook that already has the Excel and CSV files imported. So all I need to do is click on the ellipses, get more visuals, and then do a search for the map box visual. Click on that, then choose get it now. I'm going to make this visual nice and big because it's going to be the only thing on this page. And into here I'll need a couple of fields. First field I'm going to need is my region, so I'm going to put the region into the location. And then I want to be able to drill down to my local authorities, so I'm going to put the local authorities in there as well. Finally, for this to be a chloropleth map, I need something in colour, so I'll pop the population into colour. You'll see it's now telling me to go and get my access token, so we'll grab that in a second. Switch to your format roller and go down to Viz settings. I need the access code, so I'm going to switch back here. Click on the little profile, choose account. And in here, from the bottom, I can grab my access token. Paste that into the access token, minimize viz settings, go down to circle. I don't want a circle map, I can get that with my built-in map. So I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to go down to chloropleth, turn that on. My minimum color, so meaning we've got low population, is going to be a nice shade of green. And my maximum, which means that I've got high population, is going to be a bright shade of red. The highlight colour is when I hover over the top, so I'm going to leave that as blue. The min and max zoom levels are to do with when I scroll in towards my map. The further in I go, the lower the number is. Now, depending on the size of your shape files, it depends on what zoom they will appear. My regions being fairly large should appear fairly quickly, whereas my counties will only appear as I zoom in further. Speaking of, if you scroll down, this is where we can set the number of levels that we have in our data. I'm going to set this to 2. The level I'm going to set is the first level, and I don't want US states, I want a custom tile set. 
switch back to map box visual and switch back to your designer. In here, click back on tile sets, scroll down, find your region tile set and copy the tile set ID. Paste that into your vector file URL level one. The source layer name is the layer or the tile set name. So that's my regions December 2017. Copy that. Paste that into the source level. And then the final part is what is my ID column? So I can use any of these as my ID column, but I use region name in the front end. So I'm going to use region name here as well. I now need to do the same thing for my second level. So I'm going to go down to level two. I'm going to change this from US States to custom tile set and I'll grab my other tile set. So back out here, go down, find the file I imported, copy the ID, paste that into my source URL, grab the name of the layer that I want to bring in. And then finally, what the ID column is for this set. So I use the ID column, the CD. So I'll use that in here as well. Now you may notice that nothing appears to have happened. Don't worry, it has worked. But sometimes Macbox just takes a second to refresh. I'm going to go onto a different page. I'm going to delete that page because I don't actually need it. Come back in. And there we can see our different regions that are available. If I scroll in, I'm going to want to drill into London. So I'm going to turn on drill down. I'm going to click on London. And then rather frustratingly, it puts me really far out. My shapes only appear at level eight. But if I zoom in, there we go, each of my shapes. If I wanted to drill even further, I could have another level of drill down and so on and so forth. This interacts with the rest of the page. So if I just move this over slightly and if I had a table with my various bits of information about my counties, again, all the rules apply to this as it does with any of our other visuals. So if I apply any filters to it, it will react as we go through. So there you have it the map box visual. It can do far more than this, but that's all we've got time for in this clip. I hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next one.